What is happening everybody? Josh here from Spawn Fly Fish and today we're talking gateway drugs. We are going to take a blue fox and we are going to put this baby on the vise. We see the vise as a very good opportunity to get people into the art of fly tying and into the sport of fly fishing. So bear with us today. If you're a fly angler and you like to throw a blue fox, this is a good video for you. If you've never fly fished, this is a great video for you to introduce you to what is possible on the vise. So we're going to get after it. We're going to up your spinner game. Alrighty, we have a brand new blue fox here in the pan that are fly tires. This might not be as applicable to you, but for those of you that tune in and tie jigs, we see these opportunities to get you on the vise as an awesome, awesome example of bringing you into the art of fly tying. We continue to reiterate that this is an excellent opportunity. We see it time after time where somebody ties, say a blue fox or a twitch and jig for coho, and then they find themselves eager to tie a trout fly and use on their new fly rod that they get here at Spawn Fly Fish. So we will continue to hone in on these, what we call gateway drugs, and we're gonna get after it today. So we're gonna open up this blue fox. There's a couple things we gotta do here to get things going. Um, it's not an exact order, but we do wanna showcase this in an order that we like to do these in. So first things first, we're gonna get this out. Be mindful, this is a mean treble hook. As you can see there, we're gonna take this treble hook off of the body of this blue fox. So first things first, I like to hold it with my three fingers in here in a really firm grip. I've seen this happen before where somebody holds it loosely and they go to cut it and it lurches forward and sticks them in the hand. So be mindful of that. And then we're gonna just cut here with the wire cutters. Voila, boom. So now we got the body of this. We're gonna set this aside, but I just wanted to do this beforehand so that you can kind of have an understanding as to what's going to go down. The Blue Fox comes with an extra hook in the pack, a single side wash hook. So we're going to be tying on that hook and then we're going to be crimping that down and taking this out in the water. And it's going to work very, very well. So now we're going to move on to the vise and we're going to get things going. Alrighty, we got the hook. This is a quote unquote pattern that I've used in the past with this Blue Fox. However, once you see what I'm about to do, you can freestyle this in a huge array of different designs with different materials. Be mindful of the weight that you're going to add on the back of this hook. So as you'll see, when we tie this uh, spinner, we're going to be using light materials. You don't really want to take away from the functionality of a blue fox. It already does a fantastic job. So be mindful of the amount of weight that you're adding and distributing alongside this hook. So let's start laying down some thread. First things first, we're going to take some crystal flash. We're just going to add a little bit of flash to this. We're going to differentiate it from other spinners that are being thrown off the jetty in the river or being trolled behind the boat. So this is not quite like a spinner that you would troll off the back of the boat, but you could theoretically use it as such. Alrighty, we're just going to tie that right on top. Get a little loop there. And fold it back over. Now I don't want this to stick out crazy far, so I am going to come in and trim it a little bit. <clears throat> Just nice little. And as many of you guys, I'm sure, have used or seen, this is essentially a rooster tail on steroids. <clears throat> All right, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to take some schloppen. The good thing about schloppen is it gives some profile, gives some movement. But it isn't gonna, it isn't gonna be long enough to swing forward and foul in any way of the manner. So we're gonna take it, that feather here, and we are going to wrap that. Really like this. It's gonna add another level of dimension to this spinner. And by no means is any of this stuff brand new. Many people out there are doing this sort of thing. Many of them come in and see us. So whether you're tying a fly, tying an earring, tying a jig, tying a spinner, Pete and I want to be able to help you find success on the vise. So 
we're just gonna wrap that baby up there. We're gonna keep this feather going. Touching wraps, it kind of splays forward when you get it around that hook, but then we bring it back close on the pass around. And we're gonna use the entirety of this feather. As you can see, that crystal flash uh, just protrudes a little bit farther than this um, schloppen, so keep that in mind. That's, a, that's about what I like. I want to just have a little bit further movement, but nothing crazy. Sweet, that will do it. We're gonna tie that off. And snip. Cool. At this point, we're going to work it back over itself. Make sure those feathers stay in there really nice and secure. Make a couple that are over themselves. That's all good. This is going to really come to life. All right, we are going to throw a little bit of eyes here on the back of this. Um, I do like to do this. Gives it a little more of a shrimpy feel when it's swimming away from a fish here. Um, it is going to restrict the movement on one side of the fibers, but that is a-okay. Gives it just a little more lifelike when that fish swims up next to it and decides, does this look like everybody else's, or is this something I want to eat? All right, last element. Again, I said we're keeping this sparse. We're not going to add a lot of weight to it. That is imperative. Um, so we're going to take some dyed pearl diamond braid and we're going to finish this uh, spinner by using that. So tie it on, wrap it down really secure. This is that final element here. We're going to go right behind the eyes and work it up to just behind this uh, open eye of the hook. So touching wraps here. Give yourself a decent little taper here to the uh, front of the eye here so these wraps have a little bit better grab. Don't want them to slide. Do be mindful not to get too close to this uh, open eye because your thread will slide up it. So keep that in mind here. We definitely don't want to go. I'm dancing on the edge right there. We don't want to go any further. So we're going to tie all that down. Um, working backwards, not forwards. And it's a little messy, but we can clean that up afterwards. We can go in there and burn some of that off. I'll turn it over just to make sure that I can get a good look for it here. And then I'll turn it back so you guys can see it well on your side. And I don't mind a little hot spot, a big old thread, thread head there is not a problem at all. Alrighty, we are going to whip finish this. Again, make sure that you don't go up the, the hook too far. Stay in that zone that you've created. See, it wants to slide forward on that whip finish there. That'll be good though. Now we're going to add some head cement. And we have created this tail profile of this blue fox. And we've, we've got you on the vise, which is what this is all about. Bringing a greater connection to that fish that you're going to catch. And you will catch it. I am a firm believer that in understanding all fisheries, you will be a better angler. So for those of you that are 
<clears throat> fly anglers and don't think this is applicable to you, understand that your ability to catch fish will, across all platforms and styles, will drastically increase your likelihood of success, even with a fly rod. All right, so we're going to let that dry for one second, and then we're going to come back. We're going to add this last element, and you are going to see this baby in action. All righty, as you can see, this fly or shrimp side of this uh, spinner is now complete. So we're going to just add this one element and bring everything together here. So we got the blue fox size 5 here, and we're bringing it around that open eye. For those of you that have done this before, this might seem a little redundant. But for those of you that haven't, we're going to showcase it. So we got the open eye. We hooked it around here. Uh, and what we're going to do now is take a set of pliers. And we're going to just close that eye. Try and grab it into the grooves of your plier there. It's, it's going to take a little bit of oomph. But there we go. We're almost there. Make sure we get it in the grooves. It's not going to slip. You don't want it to slip. That's the biggest thing. Anytime you have an opportunity to slip with a hook in your hand, it's generally not good. All right, so that's almost there. Well, let's see if I have some muscles on me. Bring it over to an angle you can share, and then use the desk there. There we go. Sweet, and that does it here. We got the spinner here. We'll maybe pinch that down a little bit closer here. Off camera, we'll put some muscle into it, but that's it. Looks really good. This fish as well. This is going to keep you on the vise, differentiate yourselves from other spinners, and as always, catch some fish. So thanks for tuning in. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we appreciate you as always.